Now that I've finished the cope, I'm going to put the drag on, ram up the drag exactly the same way I did the cope, and then flip the mold again, punch the sprue in, take out the pattern, and it'll be ready to pour. Inside the mold, the first layer of sand pressed up against the inside of the bell pattern. As I ram, I'm going to insert this thing, this little piece of mangled angle iron, into the core of the mold, the attached green sand core, in order to hold that to the mold and prevent it from breaking off. This probably isn't necessary, but it makes sure that the mold is really sturdy and that way I don't have to worry about the pattern drawing easily. It'll make the mold a lot sturdier and a lot more capable of handling abuse. This is what the mold looks like right now. I moved the camera so you could see inside the flask and see what I'm doing a little bit better. Right in here is the pattern, the edge of the pattern, and that blue is the face of the cope, the parting face that's already been rammed up, covered with parting dust, obviously. Here's my little piece of reinforcement steel, and I'm just ramming around it in a circular pattern, like this. All of this sand that you see is been passed through my riddle to remove lumps. And unfortunately, that didn't work very well. My little reinforcement member held the sand in the core still, but where it ended, I got some sand stuck in my pattern. I'll have to see why that is. I don't really like this parting dust as much as a silica flower either, because you'll notice the, the drag came off the mold a little bit when I with the cope and that's because the parting face didn't part like it was supposed to. So I'll have to either go back to silica flower or search for something better.
This mold may be salvageable if I can get this out in one piece and attach it right here. I don't know if I can do that or not. There we have the broken off piece. It's fairly tightly rammed, so it seems pretty sturdy. Let me see if I can do a little bit of surgery here. That actually fits back together pretty nicely. There will be a seam there on the inside of the bell that I'll have to machine off. But, this saves me having to redo the redo the drag portion of the mold. The cope, if you can see the cope, this is actually fairly sturdy in here. The cavity looks pretty good. There will be a few defects that I'll have to compensate for, but it's it's not too bad. And like I said, this is all getting machined. If I had to leave an ASCAST surface on any portion of the bell, I would probably be a little bit more meticulous in making sure my mold was, was up to par. I want to set the cope on a board to support it, because I'm going to punch the sprue down. Right here looks like a good spot. And there we have the completed mold, ready to be weighted and poured.